They say if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. This is because mice are a global pest issue. They are well known to decimate crops, invade people's homes, and spread disease. Our main methods of mouse control today are anticoagulant rodenticides, or mouse poisons, that cause mice to die by thinning their blood. The problem with these is that poisoned mice move very slow and make easy targets for birds of prey like hawks and owls, as well as small mammals like domestic dogs and cats. Although these animals are not directly eating poison, they are becoming sick and even dying by eating large amounts of toxic mice. This is a huge problem for wildlife conservation and pet health. Our main alternative to rodenticides are lethal snap traps, which are unfortunately not as effective. This is partly because they must be kept in plastic boxes, and mice have evolved a behavior known as trap shyness. They will avoid these plastic boxes and any new item in their environment. It is with this information that I set out to build a better mouse trap. Now let me tell you how. I started by studying mouse behavior. I wondered if there were any chemical cues like pheromones that mice use to attract each other. Perhaps we could use these to put inside boxes to make mice more willing to enter them. I discovered very quickly in my reading that the answer was in mouse urine. This is a little weird, but mouse urine is actually a complex combination of chemical signals that mice use to mark their environment. A mouse urine mark actually works a lot like a dating profile. You can learn a lot about a mouse from its urine mark, like their sex, age, social status, and even reproductive experience. So mice basically invented Tinder. <laughs> Through a series of experiments in the lab and field, I was able to show that mouse urine, when placed in these plastic boxes, would, these traps would catch many more mice. I then started to look for specific chemical compounds within urine to reproduce this effect without using actual urine because that's not very sanitary. Recently, we have developed a synthetic blend of two mouse pheromones that, when placed in these traps, works very well in the field. We are so far catching more than five times the amount of mice in our treatment traps than in control. I hope that with my research and with the help of our Canadian industrial partner, we can create mouse traps that are safer and more effective. This way we end up with more dead mice and less dead birds. Thank you.